Hi guys, it's Julianne and I'm an ECD HUB coach. Today we're going to be making our very own compasses and we're going to be doing an activity with our compass. By having your child create their own compass and using it, they'll have a sense of direction and learn to follow direction. To start out, I have a sheet of paper and a circular tracer and I'm going to go ahead and trace out my compass. After I've traced out my circle, we're ready to go ahead and start making our compass. To start our compass, we are going to draw four big triangles on each side of our circle. After I've created my four big triangles on the outside of my circle, I'm going to do four small triangles in the inner parts of each big triangle. After completing your four small triangles, your compass should look like this. Now we're going to go and head and outline with black marker or black sharpie our entire compass. After I've outlined my compass with a dark marker, we're going to go ahead and start labeling our compass. So starting with the top over here, we're going to label it with N for north. Then we're going to go to our next big triangle and we're going to label it with E for east. Next we have S for south. And lastly, W for West. Explain to your child that North, East, South, and West are all directions that we need to follow when we are either driving or walking or going anywhere. We are gonna go ahead now and cut out our compass so we can practice using it. After I've cut out the compass, we're gonna now practice using the compass. So here is my starting destination and I have a, laid out a basketball and whichever way we go with our compass, it's gonna tell us which way to get to our basketball. So first out, our north is pointing right towards our basketball. So we're gonna walk north to get to our basketball. There we go. Now our north is still facing this way towards the fence, but now our basketball is over here, which means we need to go west to get to our basketball. So we're gonna turn and go to our basketball. After our north is still facing towards the fence, now our basketball is over here. So our east is facing towards our basketball. So we have to go east to get to our basketball. And lastly, we're still facing north towards the fence and this time our basketball is behind us. So that means we need to go south to go to our basketball. So we're gonna turn around and go south to our basketball. So we're gonna change it up a little bit. My north is still towards the fence, but this time my basketball is all the way over there. So what we're gonna have to do is the direction is to take five steps north and then turn west to go towards our basketball. So we're gonna take one, two, three, four, five steps north. Then we're turning this way, which is west, to go to our basketball. There we have it. This time we have it a little different. Our north is now facing towards the house and our basketball is all the way over there. So what we need to do is we're gonna turn around to face south. We're gonna take two steps south and then we're gonna turn. So first let's take two steps. So if we were this way, we would be south like that. Then if we see west is pointing towards our basketball. So we had taken two steps south and turned around. Now we're gonna go west to our basketball. All right, the next part of this compass, we're gonna be talking about these middle triangles. So the middle triangles represent this one over here between the N and the E is going to be northeast. So right here is gonna be northeast. The next one over here, east and south, the middle is going to be southeast. The next one we have southwest in that middle. And in the next one, we have Northwest. So we're gonna fill those in now. 
So if there's an object in between our north and our east, but we can't go north or east to get to it, we go northeast, which is in the middle of those two to get to our object. So let's try a few examples. So once again, we have our basketball over here, but this time our north is facing towards the tree. It's kind of on an angle. So to get to our basketball, we have to go northeast, which is where our basketball is. So let's go northeast to our basketball. All right, this time our north is facing towards the basketball hoop. So to get to our basketball, we need, it looks like we need to go southeast. So let's go southeast. All right, so this time our north is facing towards the house, but it's on an angle a little bit. So it looks like our basketball's right here. It looks like we have to go southwest to get to our basketball. So let's go southwest.